Here's a quick look at the front of the packaging. It says SanDisk Clip Sport MP3 Player. And it's a four gigabyte size. It can hold a thousand songs. It can last 25 hours on one charge. And it's capable of receiving an SD memory card for expansion. The features of this MP3 player include it plays music, it has an FM radio, it has audio books, it includes a stopwatch, it does support micro SD memory cards, it plays AAC for DRM free iTunes compatible songs, it has a 1.44 inch LCD display, and it has a 25 hour battery life as well as being rechargeable. And you can see that it comes with a quick start guide that tells you how to use the SanDisk and the functions that it has. It does come with some nice cool looking headphones or earbuds. It does have a USB connection and charging cable. And on the very front of it, you see that it has this one face button that says back. It has the four directional face buttons that control your navigation. And then you have a little menu button. In the very center of it, you do have a red button that acts as the enter button to interface with whatever menu or song that you're playing. If you turn it to the side, you have an input jack for headphones and an expansion port for an SD memory card. On the very back you see where it's branded SanDisk and this is a clip. It's pretty sturdy spring-loaded clip. On the other side you have your connection port whether you're charging this device or you're connecting it to a computer. And then you have a rocker button for the volume controls. So this acts as a power button. It has a little animation screen with a red background refreshing your media and then you have a menu that says select, select your language and I'm going to press this center button for English your region I'm going to select North America and now it goes to music you have a radio you have audiobooks your folders memory card sports which looks like that maybe where you access the stopwatch and settings then you go back to music so let's just see what music has you press the middle button you have music and it tells you shuffle, artist, album, songs, or genres. Here you see a song playing. It shows the album cover, the length of the song, where the song is, and then the song title and artist. It looks like it may have five to seven songs that are preloaded, which is a pretty good bonus. This little button acts as a menu button. And you have your options here if you want to add a song. You can go to repeat, shuffle, music, EQ, and delete songs. Now you're back to the music menu. You can go to the radio menu. Here it's set to 87.5. And you can change the dial left or right with the left or right buttons. Here you have your audiobooks. You have audiobooks and podcasts. Here you have a folder, internal memory and external card. So either one, if you wanted to access it, you could just select that and press the middle button. At the root, you get the different options for music, podcast, playlist, audio books, and audible. And here's card itself. No inserted card, so there's nothing really that you can do at this point. Here's your sports setting. You have a stopwatch, a timer, and you can save these and delete the ones that you save, whichever way that you want to interact with those. And finally, you have your settings.